Rapunzel, Rapunzel, focus question: What does Rapunzel's life change? Once upon a time, there was a lonely witch. She decided to steal a child for company. She named the child Rapunzel. Rapunzel grew into a beautiful woman. The witch was afraid that Rapunzel would be taken from her. She put Rapunzel inside a tall tower and used heavy stones to block the door. Each day, the witch stood below Rapunzel's window and called, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair!" Rapunzel let her long hair fall out the window. Then the witch would climb up and visit her. One day, a prince was riding nearby and saw Rapunzel in the tower. Her beauty enchanted her him. He wanted to meet her, but he could not open the tower door. Just then, the witch appeared. The prince hid and watched her call to Rapunzel. Rapunzel, then climbed her hair. When the witch had gone again, he too called, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair and climb up." Rapunzel was amazed and felt frightened when she saw him. But he was kind to her, and soon they were talking like old friends. After that, the prince visited Rapunzel every evening. Before long, they fell in love. One day, the Rapunzel was expecting expecting the prince. The witch arrived. She called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair!" "Hurry, my prince!" Rapunzel called back, not realizing the witch was there instead. When the witch heard this, she climbed up the tower in the rage. "Wretched girl!" she cried. "You did how you thanked me for my care." She grabbed her pair of scissors and cut out Rapunzel's hair. "You will never betray me again," she had. She she said. The witch dragged Rapunzel into the bottom of the tower. She blasted the stones away from the door and sent Rapunzel into the dark forest. When the prince came, the witch let him climb up using Rapunzel's cut hair. "You tried to steal my precious Rapunzel," the witch said to him. "Now you will never see her again." She put the cards on the prince to blind him. When she sent him into the forest too, blind and heartbroken, the prince stumbled, stumbled through the trees for several days. On the morning of the third day, he heard a voice he knew. Singing sadly, Rapunzel, he cried, "Is that you?" Rapunzel rushed to him, weeping. Her tears fell in, fell on his eyes, and he sighed to return. The prince and Rapunzel went back to his kingdom. Together, they lived happily ever after.